Hi, I'm Marilyn of Stamp with Marilyn and welcome to my video tutorial on how to make a 3D Christmas tree. This is an example of one that's a large tree made out of the winter frost designer paper and I'm also going to show you how to make a smaller tree um, also out of the winter frost designer paper and I've put together some directions for you which are available with this file and the instructions have um, all the cutting that you need to make both a large tree and a small tree and I, what I have done is I've cut the paper for the small tree as you can see and now I'm going to use the Big Shot rosette die and I'm going to score all the paper that I have just cut um, for this tree. And the best way to use the rosette die is to use a crease pad so that the Big Shot scores the pieces and does not cut them. So now I've done all the scoring and I'm ready to start folding for my tree. So what I'm going to do is take each piece and I am going to accordion fold each piece and then I am going to attach the pieces together and I'm going to use my trusty red tape and just attach those pieces. Okay so I've accordion folded everything and put them all together using red tape and now it's time to plug in your glue gun and get to making lollies. And now I'm in the process of making my lollies. And what I have found the best thing to do is after you fold the lolly is use your nice heavy punches and those are the perfect weight. And so here's my tree in process. Oops, and there it goes. And that's why we're using a glue gun. So to make a lolly, we fold we're going to fold our accordion folded piece in, like so. We're going to put a little bit of glue on a circle that I have punched out of heavier cardstock. And what I did was I used my large circle punch, the two and a half inch punch, and I used my medium scallop, and I just punched a whole bunch of circles. You need two circles for each lolly, one for the top and one for the bottom, and then that's going to be the piece that holds the whole thing together, the whole tree together in the center. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue on another scallop, and I'm going to put that in the center, and then I use my punch to hold them for a couple of minutes until they get dry. And that's it. So now the last step, I have taken each of the pieces and I've used my glue gun and put each piece together. And I did, I did kind of a reverse approach on this. I started from the top down and I built a couple of pieces and then I, and then I did the next section. And I think what that does is that allows you to straighten the sections as you go. But the other key to this is to stand up and to look down on it um, so that that way you can see um, if there's sections that are out of a line on this. So the last step after you put the rows together or the pieces together is the star on top and I cut a little star out of the glimmer paper and then I cut a few other stars out of just regular cardstock, and I used dimensionals to put the stars together to make the star 3D. And then I just glued that onto the top. And then my last step is to take some of our great dazzling details and just to go around the tip of each of each row. all finished. This is the small tree and this is the large tree. And 
Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.